It's lovely to see so many of our family members and friends here today to help us celebrate the happiest day of our lives. I know that some of you have traveled a long way to be here and that means a lot to us. Just before we got married, I read lots of negative facts about marriage. And one in particular really hit me. I was like, wow, 50% of all marriages end up lasting forever. <laughs> While Sudan and I was courting, she always mentioned to me that if I were to propose to her, I would need a really huge rock. That is the only way she was going to say yes. So I went around finding for the biggest rock I could, aff I could afford. And I got it for her. But I was still nervous that she would say no. My backup plan, if she had said no, was to give her an actual rock, unpolished. Luckily, she said yes. Finally, I would love to thank my wife. I think I'm going to enjoy getting used to say that, for agreeing to marry me and for making me the happiest man in the world. I think you'll agree that she looks absolutely stunning tonight. When she walked up the red carpet, she took my breath away. They say you don't marry someone you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. And I think that sums us up pretty perfectly. Now, if I had a single, to single out one thing about why I love Sudin so much, it would be the fact that she makes me happier than I ever dreamed I could be. And I intend to spend the rest of my life making sure that the reverse is also true. I know that Sudin has put a lot, a huge effort into making today perfect. And I think that she has done that and more. Having been with Sudin for a couple of years now, I've learned a few valuable lessons. When I'm wrong, admit it. When I'm right, keep quiet. Seriously though, I never have a problem finding words to express my love for Sudin. But if I had to start, then I probably won't be able to stop. Suffice to say that Sudin, I love you so much and I can't wait to grow old with you.